Hello, hello, this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, coming to you today with the Diabetic Minute for everyone who wants to get and stay healthy. We're kind of talking about our, our mental health this week, and today we're going to talk about depression. Are you depressed? <laughs> you have every right to be with everything that's been going on in our world, with everything up in the air, uh, being locked down, masked. All of this has weighed heavily. The kids out of school, everybody has a right to be depressed. What is depression? It is a mood disorder that interferes with your life. Okay. Um, it interferes with your work, your relationships and your health, which is where we come in. You know, some conditions actually get worse when you're depressed. Your arthritis, asthma, cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, all of those things can be greatly affected if you're depressed. So being sad and down occasionally, feeling frustrated with everything that's going on, that's normal. But sustained or the feeling of helplessness and hopelessness, that could be depression. And that's something you don't want to have. So let's talk about what the symptoms of depression are. Are you moody? Do you get angry, aggressive, irritable? Not just because you didn't have your coffee. Um, your emotional well-being. Do you feel empty? Are you sad? Are you hopeless feeling? Your behavior. Have you lost interest in things that normally interest you and excite you? Are you um, taking drugs? Are you um, doing things that you would not normally do? This is really important. Sex. Have you completely lost desire or performance there? It, has that changed? Your cognitive powers, okay? You can't concentrate, you can't focus, you're having trouble doing the things that you usually do. Your sleep, do you have insomnia? Or do you sleep too much? <laughs> the change in your sleep pattern. And physically, are you fatigued? Are you, um, do you have pains? Do you have headaches? That sort of thing. Those would be symptoms of a deeper depression. Why do we get that? What are the causes to get um, depression? And there are a lot. <laughs> First of all, family history. If someone in your family has suffered from depression, your depression, you are much more likely to have it as well. Uh, someone who had a childhood trauma that weighs heavily on them can be depressed. Even your brain structure, the frontal lobe is more active, I mean, less active in people who are depressed, but they're not sure if that happened before, that caused the depression or after the depression. Um, some of the medications that we take or the conditions that we have uh, can cause depression. Chronic illness, when it weighs on you day after day after day, that can bring on depression. ADHD can cause you to be depressed. Drug use, never a good thing, right? In any situation. Low self-esteem, mental illness, and sub-medications you take, uh, as well as stressful events in your life. And this is where like the pandemic comes in. This is a stressful situation that we've been in over a year. So it can cause severe depression. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's mild, like everybody's frustrated kind of depression. Your doctor can give you a test, but you know what they're going to do? They're going to ask you about your mood, your appetite, your sleep, your thoughts, those things that I just mentioned. So if you have a lot of those things, you want to get some help because there is help. Okay, because depression can lead to other complications that are very large that you don't want to deal with. You can have weight gain or loss. You can have physical pains develop. You can have uh, developed substance abuse issues, panic attacks, relationship issues. You know, the other people in your life might not understand this. Um, social isolation where either you don't feel welcome or you don't want to be around people. 
thoughts of suicide, and this is something we've been worried about with our kids being out of school, is uh, especially our teens having these feelings that, you know, it's, it's hopeless. Nothing's ever going to be the same. Their life is over kind of thing. And then self-harm, you know, you can hurt yourself in a lot of different ways when you're hurting. So what are treatments for depression? They do have treatment. That's the good news. If you feel like you have a lot of these symptoms, um, they have medications that can help. Psychotherapy can help. Light therapy can help. And then there's some other, um, the uh, maybe extreme therapies like acupuncture. Some herbs can help. Exercise can help. Um, being sure not to be taking drugs and alcohol can help, essential oils, uh, and vitamins, okay? And I want to give you a few ideas of those if you think you have maybe a mild bit of this. Uh, in the herbs, St. John's wort and omega-3 fatty acids can help to reduce that depression, a mild depression. In uh, essential oils, wild ginger, bergamot, or um, to inhale would be chamomile or rose oil. That will help calm. And in the vitamins B12 and B6 and vitamin D, all of those things can help if you're feeling a bit of that depression that all of us, I know, have felt at least at some time during all of this. But if you're feeling it constantly, then you want to make sure that you look into this, okay? This is serious. I hope I found you safe today. I hope I found you well. You know, I always hope I find you happy. I hope I find you sharing this information with others and that you subscribe to wherever you're listening to this message. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. Thank you so much for being here. I see you. I appreciate you. Uh, I love that you're listening and I hope that I'm helping. Again, Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. May God bless and keep you until we connect again. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.